Hey guys, MCU Collector here with the next video on the Hasbro Marvel Legends series X-Men Wave 3 Apocalypse Build-A-Figure. Next up is Storm. Uh, very, um, very awesome figure. I think a lot of people are really going to want this because they um, want a Storm figure and they may have missed out on the Jubilee Wave Toys R Us exclusive um, Storm figure. I know that one was almost impossible to get. Um, I remember one time, and this will this is my one of my biggest regrets, and when it comes to collecting, uh, funny story is I, I at the time I was very new to collecting, and my main focus was movie figures. So I think the Guardians of the Galaxy Groot Wave had co was coming out or had came out right around the same time. But I went into a Toys R Us, and I saw this storm. I actually had it in my hand. And there was a fellow collector there that was looking through, frantically looking through the pegs to try and find Storm. Well, I had Storm in my hand. I'm thinking, well, you know, this looks pretty cool. And I didn't think much of it. And he, he asked me, he said, hey, man, how much you want for Storm? I'm like, huh? He was like, yeah, man, how much you want for it? I, I really need it. I got the rest of the wave. Um, I, I need the Storm. I said, oh, I don't know, man. Here, take it. <laughs> I just kind of collect movie figures anyway, but here you go. He's like, are you sure, man? It's it, I, I get it, man. It's a toy. You know, it's it's the collecting stuff I can pay you for. I'm like, no, dude, just just take it. Here, go go buy it yourself. Um, little did I know how my collecting would change over time to the point that I needed that Storm figure. Um, so uh, he was happy, though, which was awesome. Um, and I did eventually get the Storm. I got it for like 70 bucks, loose, in good shape. Um, so I can't really complain too much, I guess. I mean, sometimes that's how collecting goes. Sometimes a figure isn't worth anything. Sometimes it skyrockets, and sometimes you just never know. But there it is. We'll take a look at that when we get this Storm figure out of the package. So really cool. Um, I like the way that she's actually posed inside of the package. The the build a figure torso piece is turned and then the storm figure she's kind of slanting because she can fly and stuff so i think that's kind of the look that they went or the either that or they just had to turn the torso because it's so wide i don't know uh but really cool you see storm there at the bottom you see her lightning effects um x logo at the top really cool artwork of her on the side i really like the way that that looks got some lightning bolts coming through and you can kind of see it a little, a little bit here um we have a look at the promo shot of the figure looking very good the bio reads, uh, an affinity for the magical elements make Aurora Monroe the mistress of weather manipulation storm. Um, so really cool. There is a full look at the wave, the apocalypse build a figure. We've looked at Wolverine, Magneto, Gladiator, Sabretooth. We're on storm. Next up will be Multiple Man and then Psylocke before we do the apocalypse video. So there it is. Let's open it up, take a look at the figure and closely compare her to All that. Right guys, so here is the storm figure out of the package. Um, really cool figure. I like some of the things that are um, going on with it. Uh, but before we look closely at it, let's take a look at what else is in the package. Um, and the big thing is going to be the Apocalypse Torso, the Build-A-Figure piece. Um, looking really cool. I, I really, really like. I know I had talked about this, um, I, I think, in the, the which one came with the arm. Was it Sabretooth? Um, Sabretooth, that these other pieces and kind of like the gauntlet pieces on the arms, that, that turquoise or blue-green um shine to these shoulder pieces look incredible so much more noticeable because these pieces are so large i really really like the way it comes out um and then that same blue as the arms throughout the torso and these hip um, pieces looking really awesome the belt is a floating piece on there i don't know that you'd want you, you could probably get it off but you'd want to warm it up and stretch it out but um looking really cool even in those lines there they got some blue um, the belt is made uh, of a rubber material, but it still has that blue, trans not not translucent, but the ma metallic to it. Um, so it's still, you know, the way the light hit shines on it has that same look as the harder plastic, like the torso. Um, so really cool looking there. The shoulder pieces kind of hinge around a little bit. And then this neck piece or piece, like the collar piece, actually can be removed and just kind of ports on in there you can see there and then it just plugs in the two holes there so i didn't even know those were going to be that was going to be a separate piece so that's interesting and that is done in the same plastic and color as the shoulder pad so very cool torso now the accessories for storm she comes with these two lightning effects now these are the ones that we've first seen with the thor ragnarok two pack 
um, that came with Valkyrie and Thor. We just recently saw those with Magneto. So these are the same pieces, just in yellow to, to replicate that lightning. Um, so, you know, you'll be able to wrap them around her hands or kind of do some fun, fun things with them. So here, a look at the figure. So I have this Storm on a stand because she doesn't really want to... It's hard to get her to stand up on her own because she has these uh, wedge shoes and those are hard to stand. The new one has these heel boots. Um, what are they called? Mary Jane's? Is that, is that what it is? I don't know. Um, but it's much easier to get her to stand and that left leg, that right leg of hers is really bowed because of how it was in the plastic. But she could still stand up uh, pretty easily. So I like the new feet on this one. Uh, but looking close up at the two head sculpts, they are different. The Mohawks are different size. Facial expression is different. Um, but the head sculpts um, are very close looking. Um, the paint schemes are pretty pretty similar. Silver eyes, uh, black eyeliner. But this one has a more red um, or dark red lipstick, whereas this one's almost like a black color. And then, then the new one has the lightning bolt earrings sculpted on. So really cool. <clears throat> this new one also has, um, in the sculpt, is this collar piece around her neck. Yep, that's actually in the sculpt. So you know that has to be a new torso piece. It looks similar to like Typhoid Mary. Let me see if I have... Yeah, so it is definitely a new sculpt. You're looking at this top piece, you know, they could have done, um, they could have easily have used like of the same top torso piece because of the mold. Um, it's it's very similar, but they but they didn't. They actually gave us a different one now. Um, because of the color, I don't believe that this one has been used before. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments below. But I don't think we've used it. And I'm looking at that neck hinge. That neck hinge is huge. Look how wide that is. Hopefully that won't be a problem. And this head seems to sit very high on the ball. Because, I mean, that's pretty noticeable. If you could just stand the figure and see right up into the neck, into the into the, um, into the, uh, the peg. Um, so it's kind of weird how it's on there. And I don't want to say the head is loose, but there's a lot of wiggle room in it. I mean, you can get a little too much pivot on this head reminds me of like gladiator figure back there that guy over there on how his head is a little wobbly now it's not it's not going to wobble on its own but you can definitely move it very easily uh she has this these um floating belts on here and i'm going to say they look familiar but i think these are new because of the two silver buckles um i think they are new you guys let me know down in the comments if i'm wrong this jacket piece is new. It's just done in the rubber material. There's no coloring or anything. It's just black. That looks good. I like the sculpt of it, the sculpted lines in the collar. They look really good. She has black gloved hands. And she has these wrist pieces that are just floating there because you can see it could pull down and you just want to push it up. So you're not seeing that skin tone showing through and looking like a wristband instead of part of the glove um, as far as the lower torso she has the jeans um, uh, leg molds so any of the denim looks so like uh, Jessica Jones Mary Jane and the mold is good looking there's no any there's no, no paint or anything to it um, and then as far as the lay the lower legs and the feet she has these boots um, and I think the boots look very good and the feet are definitely sturdy enough that she's able to stand easily and not fall over, which I'm really glad about. Because again, this one, this one doesn't, she doesn't stand. So <clears throat> let's look at the articulation. The head can go all the way down, probably too much. Um, she can look all the way up, so she doesn't have long hair getting in the way. So that's great. She gets full rotation, poltergeist, or not poltergeist, uh, exorcist movements. Uh, arms go out that much full rotation single jointed elbow of course just like all the other female figures uh, she has wrist swivel and hinge um, the elbow also swivels the diaphragm joint 
doesn't want to pivot side to side so much. You get very little motion there. A little bit forward motion. Actually, quite a bit going back, so that's good. No waist swivel on the female figures. Legs go very far apart, so she can do the splits. You do get upper thigh cut there at the top. Double jointed knee gets a full bend. Let's see, the foot hinges all the way up, all the way down, and you do get ankle pivot. So, a great figure. It's a good storm figure. I, I'm sure there's many people that wanted this storm figure. I know the one that we all wanted was the Jim Lee style um, with the white costume. Uh, one of these days, they have to give us that storm figure. We, we just have to with so many of the, the classic costumes that we all love. Sabretooth, Wolverine, Cyclops, Jean Grey, even though it's an older figure. Um, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Just get us that storm figure, please. We need that storm figure. Um, now, before we finish out the video, what I want to do is I'm going to do a quick head swap to see if they can be changed out. So this head comes off extremely easily because that's one of those larger pegs. Um, so that's good. Let's pop off. The old one comes off just as easily. And let's see if the older head fits on this new one. And it does. But this one definitely gets some wobble action in there more so than the new head. And that one will actually wobble on its own. But it doesn't look bad. You know, she still has that rocker look to her with a larger uh, mohawk. So it actually looks pretty good. Let's see the newer head on the older Storm fits as well. I kind of like that. That doesn't look too bad either. Golds don't quite match up from the earrings to the costume, but that's good. I actually kind of like the way that looks. It's not bad, but I'll keep the heads to the right figure because that's how my collection always is. So not bad. So if you have the older Storm figure, you can switch out the heads. So not bad, but definitely a good Storm figure. Um, just now counting down the days until we see a Jim Lee uh, Storm with the white costume. So hopefully one day. But there it is. There's, there's the figure. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up if you guys liked the video. If you have not already subscribed, please do so. And as always, thank you for watching.